Hello everyone, my name is Emily and welcome back to another video on Emily XO. So today's video is a very exciting video that I've been waiting to film for you guys. Um, I recently came across a little store called Madeline's Market and she sells lots of bath bombs, uh, bubble bath, uh, like sugar scrubs, lip scrubs. I believe she even has um, sort of like some bath salts and stuff like that, so lots of really good products. I have ordered some from her and they finally arrived, so I am going to do kind of a first impression slash little review for you guys. Um, I got all bath bombs and one lip scrub. Um, I am going to be filming a video later where I actually use one of the bath bombs, so you'll see that inserted to this video as well. But for now, it's just kind of like an unboxing first impressions video, so let's get started. So here it is, um, I'm covering the address just so you guys can't see that at all, um, but yeah, it just shipped with Standold uh, United States Postal Service, scissors to carefully open it. Um, typically, I know there are, there are actually two choices when you buy it and you are choosing your shipping method, oh, hair, uh, there's just standard or there's... USPS priority. Um, I know she, typically she says she tries to ship in 24 business hours. When I ordered this, she did have a couple issues with some packaging, so it did take a couple of weeks to get to me. But nonetheless, very excited. Ooh, so many goodies. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you first open it up. It's really well packaged. Um, lots of packing peanuts to protect it all in there, so that is very exciting. So this one is pink lemonade, can you see that? Kind of, pink lemonade. I really liked this one. Um, it's supposed to smell like lemonade, but it was just super cute and I love lemonade. Also, can we just talk about her handwriting? Can you guys see that? She has the cutest handwriting. Okay, so there is that one. And I will just say, I mean, as far as sizing and everything, these are pretty decent sized. Um, the only ever, only ever, only other bath bombs I've really ever bought, I've bought from Lush, obviously, they're one of the biggest bath bomb re retailers, um, and I've gotten a couple from Ulta. My ones from Lush typically are pretty big, but they're also sometimes more elaborate. Um, but these range, I want to say between like 5 and $7 is typically about where they range, so overall, really cute size, I am impressed. Alright, next we have, this one was called Seaside Cotton Bath Bomb. Ooh, I can already smell that one a little bit. I really like that one a lot. Looks like she has changed the packaging a little bit between them. This one's got the sticker. This one's got a little like, cardboard ring. Either way. So I really liked this one because it was pretty, but also, you guys can see that. It's a lot of glitter, it looks like, on top. A lot of shimmer. And this one's supposed to be like a fresh smell. So we're excited about that one. Next, this one is ooh, a Blackberry Fizz bath bomb. I like this one. I can kind of just get a hint of Blackberry on here. And it's got some little sparklies on top. It's a really pretty color. I think that one's going to be really nice. I'm excited about that one too. It didn't sit down nicely. So this is one of her Halloween ones. So the jack-o'-lantern, I think, is just plastic, but it's all packed up in there. So I was really just excited. The picture that she has online of this one is just so cool looking because it's just in the water and it like fizzes out of the top of the little pumpkin. So that's exciting. And then there is, so these are four little mini bath bombs. Um, she said she was including mini ones in all of her recent ones just because they did take so long to ship out. So I wonder, they don't seem to have any like names on them. Let's open this up and see. That one just smells kind of fresh. A little musky. This one, ooh, this one's really pretty. If you guys can, yeah, I'm gonna try and bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see better in the lighting. But it's like glittery and tie-dye. I like that one. Back there. 
Ooh, this one smells cotton candy. Like a cotton candy or a bubble gum, I think. And we've got this one, which is just like a teal. Okay, that also kind of smells like cotton candy or bubble gum. I don't know if these are based off of bigger versions that she already has. Like, I would, I would assume so. Because, like, these two, I guess they're different. I don't know. I'm not sure what they are. I'll have to ask her. This one. It's like an orangish pinkish. Okay, the last three have all smelled like bubblegum, so I don't know if like one of them truly is bubblegum, or it's just like rubbed off on the other one. There's that. So then, like I said, I also got, ooh, sounds like a maraca, a lip scrub. So this is the, trying to set the box down without like making a total mess. You might try to miss anything. Oh, okay. Um, so this is the Strawberry Sorbet Lip Scrub. It is a a two ounce little jar and it says oh that's so cute on the top handmade with love okay I'm gonna open this and try not to make a mess oh my god this smells amazing I want to I want to eat this this smells like a strawberry dessert that I wish I wish I could like have you guys smell this because it is it smells so good. It smells like a candy. And I want to eat it. So, um, actually, I think we're going to take this to the bathroom and go test this one. Because I can definitely test this right now. And then, like I said, I'll do one of the other ones um, a little bit later. I'll be actually like utilizing one of the bath bombs. I think I might go for... Ooh, I don't know. I think I might go for the Halloween one. Just because it is October. Um, so we're going to try that later, and you guys will see that later in the video as well. Alright, so let's go try our lip scrub. Alright, we have moved to the bathroom, so we can try this. First, I am wearing a lip color right now. Um, I'm going to take the lip color off before I try the lip scrub. I have the NYX. I'm breaking this, guys. Okay. And the NYX Be Gone Lip Color Remover. I love this stuff. It is super nice for getting off your lip colors. So you just massage it out, rub it in, and then. Alright, smell my skin. Um, if anyone is interested, the lip color I was wearing it is the Ultra Blotted Lip from ColourPop in the shade Doozy. And I love that one. I love the way the ultra blotted lips feel. And that shade is just super pretty. Alright, so. Got that off. Mostly off, off enough. So let's go in with this. So, you guys can see it looks pretty much like a sugar scrub, and then on top it's got all these other little crystals. I made Kyle smell it as well. He says it smells like vanilla, which I agree. It's almost like a strawberries and cream. Okay, that feels like a lot. Alright. I'm trying to make a mess. Alright, so. It feels nice. Feels just like. Sugar scrub should. Ooh, I can taste it. It tastes so good. And now we will rinse it off. All right. So overall, my lips do feel good. They do feel a little bit tingly, um, but I think it did exfoliate they do feel soft and nice um fairly moisturized um so i like that a lot i think this is going to be something i probably I'm just going to set up on my shelf and i'll use it maybe once a day even i don't know how often you're supposed to use a lip scrub but 
it is getting to be winter time, which means my lips get very dry, very chapped. So, but I'm, I would highly recommend that. I know she has a couple other of um, scents, flavors, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think they're, I want to say one of them is like a mint or a peppermint, but I don't know. Either way, I will link all of her um, social medias and her store down below so you guys can go check it out. I highly recommend it. Wonderful, wonderful products. I'm very excited to try my bath bombs. And I think that's about it. So you guys will see an actual clip of the bath bomb next. Hey guys, so originally my plan was to just do that unboxing slash first impressions on that package I got. And then I was going to do a little review of one of the bath bombs. Um, but then I ended up ordering another package from Madeline's Market like about a week after I got my first one or so. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to wait for that second package to get here since I ordered a few different types of items, not just bath bombs from her. And I wanted to give you guys an idea of what those look like as well. So the other package is here and super cute little gold border on it. I was super impressed with that. So we're going to open it up and I kind of actually have forgotten all of the things I've ordered. So it'll almost be like Christmas. Can you turn the air on? It's really hot in here. Don't hurt huh? Don't hurt yourself. I will cut myself. I feel bad having to cut the pretty gold tape. Don't worry, I'll edit you out. Oh. Or will I? Add that in. Huh? So you can add that in. I can add it. Or I won't. Alright. I like it. I was a little concerned at first <laughs> that one of my bath bombs was broken. And then I remembered I ordered like bath powder. So no worries on that one. All right. So I think everything should be in the bag. Yeah. That's cute. Oh. Whoa. Oh no. One of them did get crushed. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, well, I'll have to reorder this one. All right, so, first up, this is the, ooh, glare. It's the Galaxy Fizzy Powder. I forgot what this one smells like. Fruity, kind of. Yeah, this is just like a bath powder. A lot of it's mixed together, but down there, I'm trying to like avoid the glare. Down there you guys can kind of see the individual blues and purples and pinks that are in there. Um, one of my bath bombs did come damaged, um, and unfortunately that does just happen in shipping. That is through no fault of Madeline because there were plenty of packing peanuts in here. That's okay. I can always reorder that one. It was a Christmas present, but we can get that fixed. So then this one I'm super excited for um, because she does take custom orders every once in a while. And my sister loves bath bombs. And I decided that I wanted to get her a custom made one for Christmas. And so I asked her if she could design a dream bath bomb. What would she design? And she said blue and purple swirls with glitter that smells like lemon lavender. And look at that, you guys. It's gorgeous. It smells, oh, that smells really good. So I got two for my sister. And actually, I got to name them as well, which I had my sister name them. You cannot say anything because of that glare. You guys can read that. It's a sunny Sammy citrus. Um, so I think she's really going to like that. I got two for my sister, and then one for moi. Mm. It smells so, come smell it. I'm not gonna throw it, it's a bath bomb. I didn't know how packed they are. I mean, they're 
fairly packed, but they're not that packed. This one's good. Yeah. So then I also got bubble bath. This is uh, the two ounce version, uh, but she also has four ounce, six ounce, might even be eight ounce. I'm really not sure. It's a larger size though. This one is the Berry Trio. So blueberry, strawberry, and wild berry. Um, and you do have the option to add glitter for an additional 75 cents. Otherwise, I think the two ounce, I think are just regularly $2.99. And then if you get glitter, it's like $3.74 or something like that. Yeah, $3.74. Oh, whoa. I can smell that as soon as I took the wrapping off. Oh. The label is on the packaging, not on the bottle. That's okay. Okay. I want this to be an alcoholic drink because it smells so good. Come smell this one. Careful, it's very full. Doesn't that smell like it'd be a great sangria? I feel like... Um. So yeah, that is just a few of the other items I got. I'm really excited about these. I kind of want to go take a bath now, but I don't want to waste this. You already took one. <laughs> I know. So yeah, that is my order this time around. Um, I, I'm super excited for all of this here. And um, I know she just released three new ones up on her website um poison love boo lime pie and a third one that i can't remember i know she's also right now she has some uh pink bath bombs for breast cancer awareness and they have bracelets inside of them and she's always coming up with crazy new ideas so i definitely recommend you checking her out i will put her link down below and i am going to follow this clip up with a review of um, the little pumpkin bath bomb that I got in the last package. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. Here is the results of the bath bomb. I feel like it's not showing up on video as well, but it's a very, the bath is actually a very pink color. And I feel like the video is making it look like more muddy, but like, it's a pinkish. You can kind of see in that little like ring there. It's almost like a, a pinky orange, um, but it smells really good. It smells like strawberry and that is just like a really cool effect. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing slash review. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe down below. And please go check out Madeline's store. She is super duper amazing.